As the circle of knowledge increases, so does the circumference of darkness around it. Experts tell us that we are in the fastest period of technological innovation ever. Some say that over the next 20 years, we will become a million times more technologically advanced. Amidst all this progress, somewhere out there, someone has an idea. An idea that could protect our troops, render the worst weapons harmless, an idea that could help us cure or prevent diseases like Ebola and anthrax. Or we might find a uniform that can sense chemical threats for the warfighter before they're even harmed by the effects. Maybe an idea that can change the world. You never know what you're going to find out there in science and technology. Ditch your CV's job. Our job is to find that idea and make it a reality. It's a job that gets more difficult and more vital every day. We face a number of threats to our survival. The number is likely to increase in the future. With the development of new technologies and new ways things can go wrong. Most of the threats we face come from the progress we have made in science and technology. Consider CRISPR, a new technology that lets us make fast, precise and inexpensive genetic changes. This technology has the potential to genetically engineer away a host of diseases. However, in the wrong hands, CRISPR has the potential to create new, more deadly biological threats. We have to be able to counter threats like this. We are in a race, perhaps the most important race we've ever run. Light racing darkness. We win this race by out-innovating those who threaten us. In order to outrace the threats against us, we have to first know when we are at risk. Ditcher CB is working within the Department of Defense to develop next generation wearable sensors to warn troops that they've been exposed to a threat, as well as to monitor their overall health. We've also created the biosurveillance ecosystem. This prototype system makes forecasting disease outbreaks similar to predicting the weather. It provides our leaders and warfighters a real-time, early warning of any biological threat. Next, we need to know what we are up against. Faced with the possibility of both naturally evolving and genetically modified diseases, we need to quickly and accurately identify the threat. We've developed EDGE, a fast, easy-to-use device that can be deployed on the front lines to identify a threat down to its genetic makeup in minutes, as opposed to today's technologies that could take days or weeks. In this new era, we have to expect that we are going to come up against new threats, things we haven't faced before. We must be able to quickly and effectively respond to these novel drugs. We're developing a technology that enables us to test new drugs in test tubes, reducing the cost and time needed to conduct clinical trials. This same technology can also help us develop drugs to cure and prevent diseases of all types, faster, cheaper, and better. ADM, the Advanced Development and Manufacturing Facility, allows us to rapidly produce medical countermeasures for warfighters facing threats. In collaboration with our DOD service laboratories, we built a science and technology infrastructure ready to meet surprise. These are some of the innovations that DITRA CB is developing now, today. What really excites me is the promise of tomorrow. Finding the next great advance the penicillin of this digital age. It's out there, somewhere in the expanding light of progress. We're going to find it. Join us, work with us, to create a better future.